Welcome back to the third video in the technical series of left hand work. We've covered the slide, we've covered the hammer, now we're going to talk about the pull off. Let's start with the first string because that might be the easiest one because there's nothing below it to get in the way. Put your middle finger on the first string second fret, pluck it with your middle finger which often plays the first string, right? You can really pull it down hard if you want to. But you're really looking for a note that's about the same volume, dynamic, as the first note that you plucked. Now remember again, you're plucking the first note, and you're pulling off to get the second note. You're not going pulling off and playing it with your right hand, your picking hand. You don't need to. The great thing about this exercise, we're just going to do it with one finger right now, but we can do it on all the strings just so you can kind of get an idea of what it takes hand position wise to be able to do this without plucking other strings. So you can, you can pull that off with your middle finger, first finger, ring finger, go up to the fifth fret. Practice with your pinky. It doesn't like to work, but you have to make it. Don't do it too quickly. Let it ring for a moment, and then pull it off. We'll go to the second string, first fret, a C note. And we'll pull it off into the B note open. Try it both ways, coming flying up, pulling it down, this way and this way. Most people, are, I think, are more comfortable going down, but again, it depends on the context where you're going next and what strings you might be playing next. For the third string, we're going to take our middle finger on the second fret, I usually go in this direction, more comfortable that way, but sometimes I have to go pulling it up. That time I hit the fourth string, you could hear it. And then the fourth string will go the same fret, the second fret with the middle finger. Sometimes I'll pull down and actually rest my finger against the third string after the pull to make sure that that third string doesn't ring. So there's a bunch of examples of pull-offs. Work on these techniques because we're going to get into songs and melody playing in the next series. Hope to see you then. It's been ten long years since I left my home.